Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you could lock your keyboard and or mouse so that way you could have uh, your display running but nobody who walks up to the computer could actually do something. So this comes in handy if you're playing a video like on a kiosk or the kids are watching a movie and you don't want them stopping it or playing with the keyboard and mouse while the computer's going. So we're going to use a program called Key Freeze. It's a free download. So it'll come in a zip file, then all you need to do is extract it, then you'll have the executable right here. So once you run it, it tells you it's locking the keyboard and mouse here. And then to press Control alt f to unlock it. So now it gives that little beep. So now I could click around with my mouse, but I can't open anything or do anything, but I have the mouse movement. And if I want to get it back, so it's Control alt f now it's unlocked. Now I could type in the screen here and control alt F again. Now I can't do anything with my keyboard. Control alt F. So now if you want to get to the options, while it's unlocked, you could right click on the lock icon here, go to options. And they have lock the keys, lock the mouse. You could allow mouse movement or not. So as you saw before, I was able to move the mouse, but I couldn't do anything. So you could even hide the mouse if you don't want to do that by doing the hide mouse pointer. And then you could uncheck this or you know, one or the other if you want to allow the mouse movement. And then if you want to change the shortcut keys, you could do that. Uh, you can have this checked. So a control alt delete will unlock the keys. You can change your countdown, load at startup, uh, play a sound, hide the tray when it's locked and that kind of thing. And then you just need to activate the options when it's done there. So if I were to turn off lock mouse keys, but I have lock keyboard keys, apply. So now if I do control alt F, so keys are locked, so I can't type, but you can see I can still use the mouse, just not the keyboard. And then control alt F to unlock everything, and then if I want to go back to the options, go down to the system tray, and then just enable what I want, disable what I want, and then that's about it. You could change this stuff as well. All right, so I'll put a link in the description so you could uh, download this little app for yourself and try it out and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.